Well, folks, our next featured guest comes to us with an incredible and inspiring story for those of you at home to hear, and we hope you will do your part and pitch in for an amazing cause this holiday season. Through our continuing search for magnificent products found on the web, we came across a company called SunshineScarves.com. Founded back in 2003, this company was specifically created to donate 50% of its profits to the Sunshine Foundation, a foundation which provides financial assistance to children in need of prosthetic eye care treatment. These gorgeous scarves have graced the necks of, and hearts of such celebrities like Jennifer Aniston, Nicole Kidman, and even Reese Witherspoon, just to name a few. With us to tell us more about this foundation and these stylish scarves created to help fund it is Joy Durham, the company's founder and designer. Welcome to the show, Joy. Hi, thank you. So, Joy, tell us about the Sunshine Foundation and how it came into existence and, and how you came up with the idea for the scarves. Okay. Um, the Sunshine Foundation came out of a personal tragedy dealing with my daughter, Sunshine, mm -hmm. who lost her left eye in an accident. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we moved into this medical journey of 12 surgeries, of years of doctor visits, and uh, there was one point uh, where I was sitting in the waiting room with Sunshine, and I just noticed other families that were there, and one in particular that was struggling, a mother who couldn't sort out how to pay the deductible. Mm. She didn't have the proper insurance that was covering the portion where she could get her child treatment and care. So when I walked in and spoke with Sunshine's doctor, I had uh, asked her a couple of questions regarding this. You know, where do these families go? Do you send them to a foundation? Is there a place where they can receive assistance? And uh, she said no. Unfortunately, nothing has ever been set up. And Aww. so. It was at that moment where you sort of sit after a couple of years where you've gone through this with your child and you realize what the purpose behind what happened and, and what you need to do. And I just recognize that um, this is the point where a foundation needs to go up and uh, I decided to call it the Sunshine Foundation after Sunshine. So that's how that came into placement. And as far as Sunshine Scarves, I, um, yeah. I had to figure out how how to raise money for the foundation and I just decided that I would create a product that consumers would buy and I would donate 50 percent of the profit into the foundation to begin to mm -hmm. generate money and it would hopefully be a continual fundraising machine that uh, would always funnel money in so that is just excellent and so tell us let's talk a little bit about the scarves now that we know the story behind them what are they made of they're absolutely beautiful I use so many different types of yarns um, I work with cottons to cashmeres to silks to ribbons, wow. um, mohair wool, uh, acrylics, nylons. There's, there's so many. Sometimes in a design I'll work with 30 to 40 different yarns at a time. So mm -hmm. it's a good variety. And um, fortunately for my, my uh, customers, I, uh, I have a very expensive taste. So all the yarns <laughs> are, are very high end. They're all very high European end. import for the most part. They're beautiful. Well, y let's take a look at uh, some of the stuff you brought today. I believe we have some models you're going to talk about yes. what they're wearing. And here we have Sunshine. She has on our fur wrap. This is uh, for the teenage group. It's really fun and beautiful, lots of great colors. And if you turn around a little bit, Sunny, you will show the back. And there's beautiful squares stitched in there. And here we have Jory. He has on one of the original sunshine scarves. This was the first traditional scarf ever made, so it's a lot of fun. And here's another design. This is called Alaskan Dream, and she also has on one of our French berets. And the special thing about this scarf is the little side pocket there that's uh, incognito for cell phones and keys and all those good things. And this is Frankie. He is representing our men's division. This is a really great scarf. It's from a fur collection, although it's all made out of yarns. It is uh, made and designed to look like um, fur pelts. So it's beautiful. Here's another design. This is the bow tie scarf. It's a lot of fun, really um, great for the youth boys. And uh, Joe also has on our knit cap, which is really, really warm and cozy for winter. And here we have Sunshine again with baby Levi. And we have baby Levi in our children's a sweater poncho and our knee-high booties and sunshine is in the ribbon culture scarf. Now all the different designs are truly special. Do you make everything yourself or do you have help and how do you produce all of these scarves? I used to make everything by myself. I made probably the first one or two hundred scarves um, wow. usually for any design and I just found that I could not continue to make all of these scarves and then tend to other issues in the company as it was growing and moving forward. I really needed some help. Mm 
Yeah. But when you donate 50% of your profit, you have no budget for employees. You yeah. can't pay anyone. I don't draw a salary from the company either, so there's just no money for anything. And at about that time that I was stuck between a rock and a hard place, I received an email from a woman named uh, Teresa Uzzel. And she had read about the company in Vogue Knitting, and she sent me an email and said her husband had lost his eye, so she related immediately to the oh. situation. And she said, what can I do to help? I, I, um, I knit, I crochet, I sew, and I immediately emailed her back and said, you can do everything to help. Oh, I can work wow. in all these uh, areas with you. And I immediately boxed up a huge uh, pack of yarn and sent it to her with some project directions. And, um, and she began to... Uh, Actually, she was my first volunteer. That's wonderful. And has been with the company for almost three and a half, four years now. So talk about that. If people at home would want to get involved and volunteer, they could contact you, perhaps? Yes, uh, absolutely. Anyone can, can help. Anyone can contribute. If you know how to crochet, knit, or sew, um, just uh, go to the website. We have uh, a section there under the volunteer area. Um, really, it just has to do with uh, if, if you want to contribute, if you have your time and talent, and you want to put it to something of good use and be a part of something and support this foundation. We need your help. That's awesome. Well, Joy, thank you so much. I tell you, you've done something wonderful. We're thank really, you. really glad you came today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. For you folks at home, I would like to urge you to please help support the Sunshine Foundation by purchasing one of these amazing scarves. You'll be making such a huge difference to a child in need. You can do so by logging onto the web and visiting www.sunshinescarves.com. Or you can call to place orders or become part of the volunteer program by dialing area code 310 Four three five seven 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 six. Once again, the site to visit is sunshinescarves.com. Your purchases will truly help make a difference in a child's life, so be sure to visit them today.